you know, I talk to Sammy about this all the time, you know, like, I'm not trying to lie to myself and say like, this is going to go on forever. You know, there's, there's a, there's a timestamp on it, you know, um, when that's going to be, I hope it's far down the road. I'm going to try to make it far down the road, but, um, you know, I know I don't want to be a coach. I know I don't want to own a CrossFit gym. Uh, I'm in CrossFit because I like to compete in CrossFit. Um, but, you know, I kind of look at it as the same as when I left weightlifting. You know, when I left weightlifting, I was lost, you know. Uh, I was not a happy person, you know, just... I didn't have a thing, you know. I didn't have something to concentrate my energy on. I didn't have something to focus my work ethic on. I didn't have something to work hard at. Um, so when I found CrossFit, it was kind of like... Like, oh, awesome. I have something I can apply myself to. I have something I can work hard at. If you had all this stuff. Woke up this morning at quarter. Let's start with three. Just because I'm going to take more here. Mm -hmm. Looking down on me. There's a hole in the room. It's coming right through. What is all to let my old lady down? It's time I can I uh, just just worked out, so the hair is all kind of sticky from the sweat and shock. Yeah, we're, we're heading into next town over for uh, Winooski. I uh, just got an email of a uh, duplex up for sale. So we're just, just driving by to take a look at it. Um, if it looks like anything decent, I'll call call the real estate agent and kind of get a showing for it. But it's kind of it fits the mold of what I've been looking for, you know, a couple units, you know, a regular residential place. but. Uh, just a good opportunity for uh, an investment property. I mean, Sammy, Sammy's gonna be the one running the place, not me. That's the bed and breakfast we open someday. Sammy's gonna trap queen. I just wanna bake fresh, fresh goods for people in the morning. That's it. No, not nothing special. I mean, it's very outdoorsy. I mean, Vermont's lot of outdoor activities you know skiing in the winter hiking in the summer that type of stuff uh, I don't know, very very typical childhood of you know lived in like the, the typical neighborhood you know there's all the groups of kids you know everyone's within four or five years of each other there's like like 15 20 of us all together and you could tell where everyone was because of where all the whose front lawn all the bikes were laid down on. 195. We're looking for 295. That siding looks new. Yeah, siding looks good, windows look good. Yeah, there's two separate units for uh, utilities. Super easy to redo yourself. Yeah. Looks like there's like a, the like a sunroom, like covered porch. Yep. Yeah, the, the that, the, Upstairs duplexes entrances into a finished porch. Oh, that's great. All right, I'll call the real estate agent. Yeah. yeah you just gotta get in there, you know. Just shove it in, man. Don't don't be scared. What's up? What do you think of that mix? Oh, you haven't used it yet. Pay attention. 
attention, Sammy. Oh, I never think this through. It's too full. Oh, it's meshy. Mm. Oh, so it doesn't block off your vision. Wow, I see. peripheral. <laughs> That's really nice. To be happy. You know, that's that's the that's the number one goal. Um, is just happiness, you know? Uh, who cares what else is going on in life? Like, if you're unhappy, then what's the point of it, you know? Uh, so happiness is definitely number one. Um, what's going to produce that happiness. Um, you know, the big things, you know, I, I think, I think the biggest one is just family. You know, I know, I know I want to just have a whole litter of kids. So, so, you know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, find, find some acreage, find a house, Sammy and kids. Uh, Whatever goes along with that, you know, I don't know yet. You know, it's uh, kind of the excitement, you know, you don't know what's next. So, I look forward to finding that out in due time.